New York Times reporting this? Yeah, we, we already talked about it, but yeah. Goma was inside the school for an hour before being shot. Every single update has been decidedly worse about how the cops reacted. The bar for me for the police is underground, and I'm still shocked. I feel like I'm going insane. Yeah, bro. Fucking incredible stuff. Hey, boys, venerate the boys in the blue, though. You know what I'm saying? They're doing a good job. They're doing a great job. Remember when we fucking clapped? Immediately, immediately, people were like, oh, dude, can we just celebrate the cops for a second? On National Police Violence Prevention Week of all weeks, by the way, fuck this country, dude. Fuck the government. Fuck the media. They all literally operate as willing soldiers of the capitalist uh, organization of the economy. And cops are the boot. And they do everything they can to venerate the cops and make it seem as though the cops are fucking so good in every circumstance. When in the one circumstance where they're supposed to be violent, they fucking fail because they're cowards. They're baby shit cowards, dude. Holy fuck. There is no better example. There is no better example of a fundamentally broken way of doing things than what we are seeing in, our, in front of our fucking eyes, dude. Look at this. Cops get 40% of the city budget. 40% of the city budget in, in Uvalde, okay? 40 fucking percent. And they could not stop this fucking shooter. They knew he was going to the school. He fucking crashed his car and he got into the school and they waited for a fucking hour before they actually breached and killed him, dude. 19 children died as a consequence of that. 19. How much more money do you have to give the cops? How much, like, wh what kind of extra weapons do they need? Every fucking police officer at a random traffic stop is equipped like a goddamn uh, guerrilla soldier, dude. What the fuck? Do they need a javelin missile? Is that how they would have fucking ended this shit? They needed a man pad. Sorry. All of our man pads are going to Ukraine right now. We need to give it to our fucking brave boys in the blue so they can fucking, you know, uh, shoot pickup trucks uh, with, with uh, suspected shooters in them. Do we need a metal gear? Do we need to give fucking cops a metal gear, dude? Is that what's going to finally stop? Should we give them a tactical nuke? Drone strikes. If they had drones, they could have struck the school. Yeah, exactly. Come on, bro. Come on. Just a bit more, dude. Just a bit more. Maybe, just maybe, I don't know, I'm spitballing here, but like, they're not fucking doing their job, or rather, the way we fundamentally understand what cops are supposed to do, which is this, literally this, this is it, if you can't do this, you don't have a job, you're just a bunch of fucking fat pieces of shit, heavily armed with the fucking gills, running around and harassing people, doing civil asset forfeiture, and, and basically harassing citizens, that's it, you have nothing else, this is the one thing, that you always fucking say you're supposed to do. Oh, we are the first line of defense. I am the fucking, you know, sheepdog that prevents the sheep from being harmed by the wolf. Like, no, you're not. You're a fucking pathetic, cowardly fucking loser who can only magd up into a unarmed suspect that's like fleeing you because you can't run after them. So you might as well fucking kill them and get back to eating your donuts. That's the only thing you do. And when there is an armed suspect who is like very credibly presenting a threat to little babies at a fucking elementary school, you can't do shit. Breitbart literally posted what you're saying about Ukraine. What is it? If Washington can spend $40 billion on Ukraine security, why can't they spend $40 billion on American school security? Dude, they are such psychos, dude. They are such psychopaths. Like, I presented that as a fucking meme, dude. Like... America is so fucked politically that when I say something sarcastically, it becomes the Republican Party's agenda, dude. It is fucking insane. Like, five to ten years ago, you would probably joke and say, oh man, what are we going to do? Arm the fucking teachers to prevent school shootings from happening? And then Republicans are like, yeah, no, we, we got to do that, actually. Yeah. I'll be like, what are we supposed to do to the cops? Give them fucking $40 billion and drones and shit? And Republicans are like, no, actually, that's literally what we should be doing. We should put auto turrets. It's insane. It's, it's insane how psychotic Republicans have been uh, uh, with like their, their lack of solutions. Uh, Tess Owens, the cops have been extremely vague and contradictory on the timeline. It's clear that the government was inside the school for more than an hour. The question is whether there were children inside the classroom that the cops contained him into. Bottom line, law enforcement was there. They did engage immediately. They did contain him in a classroom. They put a tactical stack together in a very orderly way and breached and assaulted the individual. EPS director Steve McGraw said twice that the cops were the ones who barricaded the shooter into a classroom. That contradicts previous statements by other DPS spokesperson that the gunman barricaded himself and immediately began shooting kids. 
Oh my god, the cops... Did the cops actually fucking barricade him into a classroom full of fucking kids? Yeah, good thing cops are notoriously liars uh, in situations like this, and they will continue to get away with lying in situations like this, and we might never actually find out, found out, uh, find out what the truth is in this situation. We do not know what the actual thing is. What we do know is that right now, conclusively... There is proof that, one, the cops were there on the scene. They were there when the shooter was entering the scene. Two, the shooter claim they claimed that the shooter had a plate carrier on him, but now uh, they openly admit that the plate carrier contained no plates. Okay, so it was just a fucking vest. And three, that uh, the shooter was barricaded, whether by cops or on his own, inside of one of the rooms. Remember when cops killed the FedEx driver on the highway on live national television because a person who took him hostage was shooting at the cops? Remember when the cops shot up and, and basically emptied like multiple magazines into a fucking random pickup truck because they thought it was Christopher Dorner's pickup truck, even though it was like a fucking Latino mom and daughter who were actually, uh, you know, on their way to deliver newspapers. Luckily, they actually survived uh, because cops are dog shit at aiming. There are numerous instances of this happening. They're so fucking bad.